Ksenia Emia Bragilovsky, 6 or 7 p.m. on the 28th of October, uh, same day, second video communication, just because I feel like it and circumstances warrant it, okay? So I just uh, went to uh, get a touch-up paint pen for my Mazda CX-3 2016 GS in jet black mica because the car has been followed. Someone is uh, consistently and repeatedly scratching it, okay, approaching it, opening the trunk, whatever, you know, something has been done. Someone is tracing it, someone is just uh, intentionally uh, vandalizes the car, creates scratches, uh, on different body parts so that, I don't know, I feel agitated or I feel insecure on the road or I have to pay more for parts and services and um, sort of um, uh, produce more effort at maintenance of the car. Anyway, I went to um, get the pen at Mazda of Richmond Hill, okay? So, <clears throat> I called earlier today, I called their parts department, I asked them if they have the pen in stock, they told me that yes, they do, and I told them that, okay, I will come back later today to pick it up. Okay, so, miraculously, the parts uh, division slash department is closing early at 4 o'clock, uh, although the entire dealership closes at 5, they are closing at 4. And apparently, no one in service can uh, sell the freaking pen to me, okay? So, what I wanted to uh, reiterate on and uh, to generalize to um sort of extrapolate into um sum up my experience is that you know what i was trafficked i was kidnapped i was trafficked i was put in this uh country called canada uh which is a western developed country i was snatched brought here as a slave uh, forced into a house, and here, 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 you work, 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 and now, because we don't give you normal work, we don't give you a normal life, you're gonna sit in on the cemetery, uh, one, uh, lady, another lady, you know what, we are not friends, they have their needs, I have my needs, okay, they have their priorities and preferences, I have my priorities and preferences, we do not share common background we are not the same just because some of our body parts may be the same uh some of our i don't know common syllables in our names uh might be it uh, i don't know them we do not share common experiences we do not share common background one of them um, is living there under assumed identities and no i'm not buying into assumed identities Excuse me. So I was forced into the cemetery to extort monies from me so that I can be incriminated, I can be denied services. Uh, dealership, Mazda dealership, I'm an owner of Mazda car, but hey, they refuse services. They refused in the past. I don't know, I've submitted yet another request that my car needs service and my car needs Parts, okay. Uh, the Bank of Nova Scotia also obviously uh, colluded with the police that now miraculously need an explanation from me of what is happening. I have to go to Newmarket and explain to the judge, uh, you know, what your regional police did, how they colluded with the Bank of Nova Scotia, how they colluded with my uh, former employers, how they denied me normal earning opportunities, how they denied me medical uh, services, required, needed, adequate medical uh, services, uh, required, needed, adequate home repair services. Instead, they've dragged me through bogus and scam and fraud. They denied me a uh, livelihood. They denied me a life here. And now I have to go to Newmarket and explain it to them, okay? So, um, they're colluded, obviously, because 
I'm being traced. So whenever I go somewhere, the doors are closed. Whenever I go somewhere, the doors are closed. So the only route open for me is fraud and scam and bogus and assumed identities and cemetery. Okay, that's what I was trafficked here for. That's what I was kidnapped as a child for. I was kidnapped. Traffic, extorted, abused, harassed, attempted for manslaughter, okay? So I am sitting here being held hostage in those circumstances. The police is uh, playing along saying that, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you need to explain it to the judge. You need to explain it. We are going to sit here and watch you sort of being harassed and denied services. And you have to explain exactly to us that you understand that uh, we did all of that intentionally, that we colluded with all the federal crown corporations to do it to you. You have to explain it to us now whether you understood what happened to you. Okay, so <coughs> I'm sitting in this house, which was vandalized over years, over years. And it's not one or two years, like it's 13 years in the making. Okay, vandalism, denial of services, harassment. I'm being taken to the hospital, harassment. I'm being denied medical services, adequate, required, needed medical services, denied, okay? Instead, I'm being dragged through fraud, and instead I'm being dragged through bogus and scam and bullshit excuses. Folks are colluding with the police and closing doors on me, okay? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know which form do I have to fill out, which service request do I have to put in. This is my life. This is my life. I, I don't have anything. I am sitting here and I'm being denied. That's all I know. It's just like denial and rejection. Okay? A rejection of life. So I don't know which department you are in. Techies, engineers, architects. I don't know whether you have uh, anxiety uh, over speaking to a live person. If you have anxiety over me going into your uh, place of work, uh, do I have to fill out this form or do I have to fill out this uh, request? You know what? I'm being slaughtered. I'm being slaughtered. I don't know which number to call. I know 911, but 911 is also busy. Okay, so this is Canadian experience for me. This is Canada. Everyone is busy and everyone is closed. And I'm being sitting here for 17 years now, being denied a living. I'm being denied life. So all your forms and service requests and submissions and explanation, this judge, that arbitrary bullshit, that arbitrary appointee, that idiot, uh, chick or that imbecile dick. I don't know. You are all freaking idiots. Why did you pick me up? Why did you target me? Because I was uh, um, an underprivileged child from an incomplete family. You've targeted me for bioterrorism, trafficking, kidnapping, and attempted manslaughter. I am sure I'm not the only one. I am sure that the 90s, the 80s, and the 90s was just in mass kidnappings and trafficking of persons in mass, in mass. I'm just one of them. I'm sitting here and I have to go to the judge to explain that, yes, I understand what was done to me. Yes, I understand what happened to me. And yes, I understand that you're denying me all services, that I am not able to, for some reason, for arbitrary reason, to repair the house, that you're only sending fraud and bullshit and scam my way. <coughs> I don't know which form to fill out. I don't have reliable telecommunications here, guys. So I don't know which service request to send. Ksenia Mia Brigilovsky, 106 Montcalm Boulevard, Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. It's 17 years here in Canada that I'm being held hostage and abused. Abused. I've been slaughtered for manslaughter. I've been trafficked and I was kidnapped as a child, okay?